So have y'all seen this mayor, this mayor in Dalton, Illinois? This woman is wilding. All right, this is from the Daily Mail. Illinois mayor is now accused of shutting down businesses that refused to donate to her campaign and <laughs> blasting Rihanna's Be Better Have My Money at board meetings after being slammed for using her city money to fund her glamorous looks. I talked about her before, like last year sometimes, but this woman is running this mayor's office like she is the head of a mob family. And this is wild that she hasn't been like, put in jail or something because the way she is a strong arming people is literally like the mob. But let's talk about this article. The first female mayor of a tiny Illinois village is now accused of shutting down businesses that refused to donate to her campaign just weeks after being slammed for using city money to fund her glamorous looks. Dalton mayor Tiffany Hinyard, 40, is accused of using her official position within the town to retaliate against those who do not comply with her wishes. <laughs> this is literally like a movie. Residents claim she adopts the persona of movie gangster Nino Brown from the 1991 film New Jack City during official meetings, dressed in an ensemble designed to instill fear. People look at politics like a joke. It's like a mockery right now because of all this stuff. Village of Dalton trustee Kiana Belcher told The Post. She comes to board, member, board meetings dressed like Nino Brown. During a meeting, she reportedly signaled for the DJ to play Rihanna's Be Better Have My Money while fully committing to her Nino Brown persona. She even has a stuffed dog, <laughs> like a scene from the movie. Here she is in her outfit, and here is Nino Brown. One resident, Lawrence Gardner, claimed that Henyard forced the closure of his trucking business after he um, refused to renew a $3,500 contribution to her political fund. I made the payment, he said. Then every year she started coming and required the same thing. And we had a problem about that. What is she, Nino Brown, he said. Anything she wants done, she gets them to harass you. She's like nobody. If you are not doing what she says, you are not doing how she says, saying to do it, you are a problem. She don't like them. Residents and former officials accused Henyer and Police Chief Lewis Lacey of obstructing local businesses that failed to make required payments. This is like shakedowns of businesses. Trustee Kiana Belcher alleges that former police chief Robert Collins admitted to being directed by the mayor to target individuals. The mayor is under investigation for allegedly misusing public funds for personal expenses and utilizing law enforcement to suppress opposition. It's unfortunate that politics are being played What's happening is a million dollars out of my budget have been cut because of politics. Dalton Police Chief Lewis Lacey said, Henyard doesn't understand the criticism as she believes she's working to better everyone's lives. Everything we do is for the people, but we're under attack. We get scrutinized by the media. She said, for what? Loving on the people, showing that they matter to us. We going through the fires for you all. She doing this for y'all. <laughs> The village board said the problem is a matter of trust with citizens and trustees being unable to vet her spending. At the end of the day, vendors aren't being paid. The board approved it, but the vendors aren't being paid. Dalton trustee Jason House said, fellow trustee Brittany Norwood added, how about you being a good leader and bring proposals to the forefront so not just us, but the residents and everyone else in America know how the money is being spent. Kenyard is always snapped in tasteful, expensive looking outfits. She has posted photos of herself getting out of chauffeur, chauffeur driven SUVs with one Instagram post even appearing to show her with a dog laden with jewelry. Kenyard, who often refers to herself as God's favorite, has now sparked further outrage by proposing a new law that would cap the next mayor's salary at $25,000 unless she remains in the role. Um, many believe the proposal, which has been branded illegal, is an attempt to dissuade anyone from running against her in 2025. Now trustees in her town have filed a lawsuit against her alleging forgery and claiming she withheld financial records. The scandal is just the latest to hit the beleaguered mayor after she was slammed for hiring her former campaign worker as the town's code enforcement officer, despite the fact that he is a convicted child rapist. 
She has also raised eyebrows after spending hundreds of thousands of tax dollars on security details, including one for an event with senior citizens (laughs) and another occasion where she pulled cops off the street to perform a protection outfit. Questions have emerged over how she funds her apparently lavish lifestyle, especially since she has repeatedly swerved questions and dismissed criticisms by branding trustees for the townships as haters in TikTok videos. Dalton trustees say she has not explained the need for her eye-watering security budget. They also claim she issued checks without proper authorization. I see no justification whatsoever. And more than that, it's really a detriment to the citizens of Dalton. If we were to take the same money and put it on officers patrolling the streets, then the residents would see a much better presence and public safety will be better. Oh, I'm saying her name wrong. Haynard, um, Haynard, a Democrat, was sworn in as mayor in May, becoming the first woman and, um, and the youngest person to occupy the post in Dalton's 128 year history. After her election, a year after her election, Dalton residents triggered a um, a recall process, largely due to her hiring a convicted SEX offender, Lavelle Redmond, into the role that would require him to enter people's homes. According to the reporting at the time, the then 16-year-old Redmond and three others kidnapped and SEXually assaulted two girls aged 13 and 14. So her defense for hiring him is that he he deserved a second chance. All right. So all right. So the recall failed on a technicality and Henyard. So I don't know if it's Henyard or Hay Haynard, but there's they spelled it twice differently. OK, so she's still in the post turning up to the next board meeting, blasting a disco song and dancing on the podium. Following the verdict, she also posted a defiant picture on Instagram, proclaiming herself as the people's mayor. With the caption, I am and forever will be Dalton's mayor. The post is one of hundreds on the politician's profile that feature glamorous headshots of her promoting various town events and holidays. She also features heavily on professional stylist Brandon K. Momon's account, sporting various ensembles handpicked for her public appearances. Visitors to Henyard's Visitors to Henry's website are greeted by a huge selfie and encouraged to offer donations. Her antics have earned comparisons to the show Parks and Rec- um, Recreations, um, a comedy which pokes fun at local government employees. Now, the New York Post has an op-ed out talking about why local elections matter. And I guess her name is Henyard. So I'm not going to do this whole article. I do want to talk about parts of it. So she's basically taken this this township and made it into her personal piggy bank by taking lavish first-class trips to cities around the country, including New York and Las Vegas. She's um, And she's spending way too much money. It says that the township is now $7 million in debt. $7 million. All right. One Dalton trustee, Brittany, Nor- um, Brittany Norwood, says the embattled mayor refuses to open up the books for the board and the public to scrutinize her spending. They're now seven million in debt. But this is the crazy part. Before Henyard, a former burger joint owner, took office in April 2021, Dalton had a budget surplus. So she's taken the surplus and made it at least seven million dollars um, in debt. So that means that um, it could be worse because that was a few months ago when they actually could um, see the record. It says. Now Dalton's finances are so out of control, a leasing bank is threatening to repossess village vehicles, including police cars, due to non-payment. This is the reason why y'all have got to pay attention to what is happening locally. Like I said early on, she is running this like she is part of the mob, the way she's strong-arming people. Um, how is this legal? I do not know. How are you? Um, how are these these trustees not able to just take her credit card. I don't know. This is wild. You guys go ahead and weigh in on your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, share.